Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Toyota Highlander, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Now your Toyota Highlander will have a pre-wired plug right behind your driver's side bumper, which is located right here, right behind this tab. Now, Toyota made this really easy for us. All we have to do is plug in our four flat harness, and then we have another connector inside our cargo area that will give this power. So let's start by plugging in this. All we have to do is remove this cap by pushing down on this tab. Now we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna plug that connector in. Now that we have our four flat harness plugged in, we're going to route our wiring through our bumper right next to our hitch receiver. Now a lot of people will just like to loop it through the tow loop using the dust cover, but sometimes it'll pop off and it can drag on the ground and get damaged. So we're going to secure it to the bumper using a four flat mounting bracket. Now this is not included with your kit, but you can pick one up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. So to route our wiring, we're gonna go through our bumper support right here and just pull it through. And then we're gonna go over our hitch to bring it right next to our receiver. So now that we have our wiring next to our hitch, we're gonna take our four flat mounting bracket and we're going to secure it to our bumper right here. Uh, we're just gonna line it up and we're gonna drill our first hole using a 3 16th drill bit. Now we're gonna take our first screw and we're gonna bring it behind our bumper. Now there's not a lot of space, so you're gonna to have to get real in there, but then you can push it in. Now we're gonna bring our four flat mounting bracket into place. We're going to secure it with the nut. And then we're going to square it off and we'll repeat on the second hole. And then we're going to tighten down both of those using a 10 millimeter socket. Now our four flat harness has these two grooves on it. These are made for our four flat mounting brackets. These are just going to go in here and it will lock it into place so then it can't fall out. And then we're going to secure the dust cover. Now we're gonna take our extra slack from our four flat harness and we're just gonna zip tie it behind our bumper so that it stays out of the way and doesn't drag. Now we're all done underneath our vehicle so we're gonna go into our cargo area so we can install our converter box to power up our wiring. In our cargo area, our plug for our converter box is located right next to our driver's side passenger seat. Now we're gonna to need to get behind this panel. So to do that, we're gonna start by removing this cup holder. Now there's no pins or anything holding it in. It's just a couple clips. So all we have to do is pull it up. We're just gonna get underneath it and we'll just set that aside. Now there's a screw holding our panel into place right behind this tab. We're going to pop off this cover using a flathead screwdriver. Now that exposes our screw that we're going to remove using a 10 millimeter socket. Now with those out of place, we're gonna pull back on our paneling. Now we're just gonna to have to pull back on the weather seal a little bit, and then we're gonna take a trim tool and we're just gonna get right behind there and pop it out. With our panel removed, our plug is located a little bit further up from where our cup holder is, just right in here. Now we're gonna take our harness with our converter box and we're just gonna go ahead and plug it in. Now we're gonna take our converter box, we're gonna push it behind our paneling where it comes out right where our cup holders were.
Now, there's an inline fuse on our wiring. We just want to pop it open just to make sure it has the 10 amp fuse already installed into it. If it doesn't, you'll need to make sure you put one in. That way our wiring is all powered up. Now we're gonna take our converter box and we're just gonna tuck it in underneath where our cup holder is. Now with our wiring all in place, we're going to reinstall our paneling in reverse order. So with your wiring all powered up, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.